Hello, welcome back to module 9 of setting up a journal in OJS 3.3. In this unit, we'll finish exploring the options of the setup tab of the website settings. Let's go to our dashboard through the top right corner of our journal's homepage. In the left navigation bar, we'll go to the website settings and then to the setup tab. In the last units, we work with information, languages, navigation, and announcements. In this unit, we'll finish exploring this section. Let's go to lists. In the items per page option, we can limit the number of elements that appear in the lists within the journal. For example, in the table of contents or in the active submissions in the user panel. And then the number of links to subsequent pages after a list. There is a default setting of 25 elements and 10 links, but these can be changed at any time according to your journal's needs. When we finish setting our preferences, we can click on Save and Continue. The following option is to set up our privacy statement. This is important to let users know that their data will not be used improperly. This section contains a default text that can be edited and will be shown in the About section when users visit the journal. When we're satisfied with the changes, we can click on Save. The last section of the Setup tab is Date and Time. Here, we can choose the preferred formats to show dates and times in the journal and the user panel. It is possible to enter a custom format, but the system already offers a variety of formats that are commonly used. Once we're ready, we can click and save. And now we have finished with the setup tab of our website settings. This concludes unit six. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next unit.